Do you want bonus audio? If we all work together, we can rob the whole of Neverwinter blind. What do you need? I need a sphere show. Knowing me, knowing crew. Arr. James is going to punish me unless I ditch this item. <laughs> I'm going to Hogwarts. Harriet timidly replied. Can I still hear the sound of children? Yes, you can. <laughs> oh, God. oh, my God. A cockwomble at play. Well, join the Royal Britannia Patreon. Available now. Make this new school year an opportunity for your kids to learn important life skills with Greenlight. Greenlight is a debit card and money app for families where kids learn how to save, invest, and spend wisely while parents keep an eye on kids' money habits. Greenlight also helps families get into their fall routine with a chores feature that lets parents assign chores and pay kids allowance when they check them off. Get your first month free at greenlight.com Spotify. Greenlight.com Spotify. Every day, we rise, challenging ourselves to work for what we believe in. At U.S. Border Patrol, protecting our borders is more than a job. It's a calling. Agents answer the call, working together to keep our country and community safe. If you are ready for a new mission, join U.S. Border Patrol and go beyond. Learn more at cbp.gov careers. Previously on Roll Britannia. I've got a safe house magic box in the city. Hello. We're closed. I've come to see Zamphire Toscop. Just wait there. Malrus? Sort of. Aren't you in prison? No. And it's Milo. We now inhabit the same body. Gross. Since you're here. It's sort of his diary. Who's Alita? He taught me magic. You should probably have this. A small scroll. It says Zia VV Regis. This is the way in. Underground. Well, it sounds like the circle is the route to the living king. There we go. beard. Who's asking? You're coming with me. Lads, we got a run. Scatter. Counterspell. You're not going anywhere. Eldritch Blast. Counterspell. Hold through hell. We're not going to win this. Get in. Scatter. Where's my brother? Ah! I can't come with you. I could let you inside the circle. Yes. yes. This is an entrance. Yes. Paul's little lever. A spiral staircase. There is some security down there. It's meant to deter unwanted. Thank you for everything. Onwards and downwards. To the right. Via Vivi Regis. Right, that so way. Water starts spraying off you. Some sort of trap. You feel the pressure of water falling down on you. You can get to another door. The door shuts behind you. You see a door. It's far into the room. I can see a couple of letters and there's some missing on this door. It's a magic I door. Pick the right nine to go in the shadow. Oh, uh, yeah. Derek, are you okay? He can only say vowel. I'm going to go and find a vowel. What say? What? Eh. Keth say? I'm in an asylum. Maybe magnets? I mean, sure. Uh oh. Bye, bye, uh, bye, 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 bye. You're all wrong. Right. <laughs> Let's just start over from the beginning. Oh, by the way, <laughs> have I told you? Windows Look, Vista. Look, Control of Windows Vista. That's the best operating system made by the Microsoft company. Queen surname? Glandon. And as you put the last letter in place, the door vanishes. Boob. The corridor outside, stretching away ahead of you. You hear a strange noise. Roll initiative. All caught up. Good. Let's get back to the action. Oh, no, we're not doing that. No, we're not doing that. Uh-oh. On that subject, though, I do have to, uh, I have to make a public apology. Oh, uh, yes. I have to make a public apology. Um, I have disability, and I was mocked mercilessly for it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I was under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> we just made him read a bunch of really complex and long sentences. Yeah, they, are, they, they, gave me, uh, they gave me loads of letters in a random order, <laughs> and I had to count those letters in a specific order. <laughs> Um, and as a, as yeah, a as this is a, really not a good puzzle for you. It's not a really good puzzle for me, is it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> as dyslexic, I found that I managed to successfully tell them all of the information that I had written down correctly, yeah. which I was very pleased yeah, about. Absolutely. What I failed to acknowledge was that the information I'd written down was also spelt incorrectly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd have sold it in two minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, <laughs> which is slightly frustrating, but never mind. Um, so, we Paul, I'm sorry. It's all right. No, no, Paul. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, James. <laughs> oh, God. 
<laughs> um, yes, but sorry for berating you for spelling my <laughs> my uh, word wrong when I'd spelled it wrong. You'll forget. Don't worry. Right. Um, As it turns out, that was what was written on the door. They spelled it wrong. Oh. I'm passing the blame on down to some fictional people. <laughs> that I made up. Yeah. Well, that room was really weird, but you'd have thought they'd have spelled it right. Yeah, the can't go through all that effort. Yeah. <laughs> You should at least spell check it before setting the magic door. I know, right? Boom. Um, no, I was just practicing. <laughs> cool. Um, in no, other news, though, just when you see what you last time we played, <laughs> um, I asked you to all roll initiative. <gasps> oh, yes. yes. I'm going to use my RB Dragon dice. Actually, no, I use my Derek dice. The Derek Normal Beard Collection now available in the Royal Britannia Dice Store. dnd-dice.com. dnd-dice.com. Number one yes. of the episode. 18. I rolled so low. Uh, You're rolling so low. <laughs> You're rolling so low, so low. I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna roll my uh, my uh, Kraken dice. Oh, they've been such a winner okay. for me in that last episode. I'm going with the liquid core dice. Yeah, Ooh. that rolled really well. I like that dice. Ooh, and it makes wee. a lovely and noise. Look at this Plus one gives me an 18. That's uh, 18 initiative okay, 18, two. two. Oh, 18. Three sorry, who's three? Sorry, sorry. So, okay, hold, yeah. hold the line. 18, 18, hold 18, on, you write this. 18, 18, you all rolled an eighteen. 18. I'm gonna have to roll this down. Uh, write this down. Hold on. Right, right, wait, 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 wait. Roll it back. Roll it back. Okay. The dice. Right. Um, Milo. Yeah. What you got? Eighteen. Eighteen. What's your modifier? Plus four. Oh. I rolled really, really low. Derek, what did you get? <laughs> Nineteen. And you've got like a plus fifteen. Modifier. I rolled a two. Yeah. And I've got a plus seventeen initiative. Blimey. Okay. Um, Jeff? I've got an 18 with a plus one initiative. Not. Oh, Milo wins. Oh, you've got so a plus far. one now. I have got a plus what, one. What did you roll? Kethry? <laughs> you got 18. 18 plus? No, that's all in. Yeah, what's, what's your plus? Plus eight. Jesus. Well as well. Um, right, so let's see. You're the first. I'm first. Okay. Uh, no, you're not. You're first. I'm first because I rolled a 19. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Out of us. Yeah. Uh, right. Well, I didn't roll a 19. I rolled a 2. Uh, Derek. <laughs> yeah. It's your game, my man. So we've rolled initiative. You've rolled initiative because you heard the sound of creaking bones. As you look down this corridor, you see three shambling figures. It's a mirror. Okay. Excellent. Three shambling figures. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, lovely. Um, I'm going to first uh, use a speech as a free action to attempt to go, oh my God, uh, don't pay any attention to everybody behind me. Just focus on me and to attempt to persuade them. Mm-hmm. Well, I know this sounds like Do they understand you- common? Uh, one of them understands common excellent I'd like to make a persuasion check against that creature okay uh, that, it must be able to hear me I guess if it's no, a shambling it figure and it doesn't have any ears it can hear you okay lovely persuasion check against that creature uh, oh what was that uh, that will be a 20 not nat <sighs> Ooh. Wow. To go. Well timed, James. Well timed, James. <laughs> Pierce to the corner just got fucked up. Uh, <laughs> to go. Pay no attention to the men behind the Derek. <laughs> um, and I will, I've will. i used Panache against it. Against okay. Insight, a 20 knot map. Okay. And if it works, it'll get disadvantage. Against its Insight, yes? Yes. Okay. If it works, it'll get disadvantage on attack rolls against anybody but myself. Uh, insight is a whiz thing, yeah. yes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whiz. Uh, that is a 13. Lovely. Uh, is that the figure that's closest to me? They're all about the same. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, so you can stand like three abreast in the corridor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, I am going to... We need four colours, Chip. You've got a black one. No. There is a black one. It was there, should Where is it? Oh, it's on the table. Um, I will... Uh... <laughs> Uh, how far away are they from us? Um, My I would say twenty-five. Could I get there? Yeah, you could get there. Cool. Uh, I will move forwards. Okay. To him. 
I will use my action to cast um, uh, Primal Savagery. Okay. Um, which is Primal Savagery is um, a cantrip. Uh, you channel Primal Magic to cause your teeth and fingernails to sharpen, ready to d- deliver a corrosive attack. So uh, it'll be a melee spell attack um, against the one that's closest to me. Okay. Uh, Rolls a hit. Which is a 19 to hit. Well, that is going to hit, yeah. Lovely. Um, that is... Uh, <laughs> uh, this spell's damage increases by 1d10 when you reach 5th, 11th, or 17th level. And at 17th level, it is 4d10 acid damage. Ooh. Ooh, and it counts as magical that. damage. Because it's uh, a magic attack. Yeah, okay. Cool. Acid damage. Even though it's 17th level, for you even though it's not 17th level, it's true. <laughs> Bless I, you. No. Bless you. <gasps> because you're 17th level as a character Ooh. in total, it still counts. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to be level 17. <laughs> so dusty. Oh, cool. It's just 17th level. Oh, cool. And it does not expand upon that. Uh, so that's 4d10 acid damage, which is... Uh, that would be... 15... Uh, 16... And... 25 points of acid damage, please. 25? Goodness yeah. me, okay. As I go... <laughs> and just, like, slash him with my fingernails. Okay. You do that, and this skeletal figure drops to the ground. Oh, really? In a sort of splash. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Uh, and then I will... And a sizzle. <laughs> Shit. The other two were within five feet of me, yeah? Uh, yes, they are, definitely. Do you get to do that? That's... Right. Oh yeah, do I get to do the cleave thing? Cleave. That's- yeah, no, you you uh you've got well, what did you do? Thirty eight, did you say? Uh twenty five. Twenty five. Uh you've got ten more damages that you can do. You've got two more uh, sort of skeletal figures either side of you. So did you have to roll to hit for the other two to see uh, if that yeah, What was through. your AC? Just it depends on whether or not. Yeah, what did what did you roll? You rolled a uh, to hit. nineteen. Nineteen, that'll hit. Um Mm. So, I will. I think most likely what I would probably do is just stick both of my hands out because they're on either side of me and just do five to each. Okay. Um, just can't carry- do that. Oh, yeah. I can't. Just one that. at a time. Oh, one at a time. It's, it's the idea that you've killed one and, and as you just carried through, yeah, so your through. sweeps through. Okay. It's the one next. To I one. attacked yeah. with my left hand, so, so it'll be the one to your right then. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Like a follow through. Baby. Roll to hit. It's yeah. a spiky follow through. Mm. Very sharp. Oh, I have both. to roll to hit again. No, no, you rolled no. to hit, so do, yeah, do, do your damage, so okay. Ten, ten so damage. you've got ten more damage to that yep. one. That's fine. Uh, da, da, da. That one's gone. That right, top up. And then we've got... Mm-hmm. So did you, are you, have you... That first enemy, was that on the left? Your left? Is you, I think you ran up to them, is it the left One in the centre. Yeah. And the one on the right. That, so you, with your left hand, you've swept through the one in the middle, and you've carried on to the one on the right. Yeah. So the one in the middle is now gone. 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 Puddle on the floor of bones. And then the one on the right is now gone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. 10 health points less. Yeah, 10 HP. Well, that's not the number I'm actually right now. Which, if we work it out, means that, he, that first one P. Because, yeah, you've got 10 left. So, in theory, this might one other one might have five. Okay. Never known. No. Go. Um, so... I'll take okay. Uh, how much movement do I have left? My speed is twenty-five. Uh, you've used it all. I've used it all. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then I will use my bonus action to dash. Okay. And use my movement backwards. One of them will get an attack but- of opportunity, but the other one won't because I made a melee attack against it. That's true. Okay. Uh, so it's going to take a That's opportunity swash. attack against you then. Huh? That you swash. It is, yeah, it's to do with uh, yeah, fancy, fancy footwork. footwork. Fancy, yeah, that's yeah. the one. I looked at that. It's, very, it's a very cool feature. I thought there was one that you could never get opportunity. No, no, only if you make a melee attack against somebody, you can't get. Oh, yeah, no, very nice. But it's only on the person that you that you make a melee attack against. Cool. So yeah, and then I'm going to move back towards the group, taking that one attack of opportunity. Need a color for monsters. Check. Okay, that is. Go home and get one. It is. The monsters can be white. Let me yeah, just see them. Do you have black too? Oh, I was just... <laughs> that's actually a very good solution. I was just joking. That 17 to hit. Yeah, sorry. Uh, on me? Yeah. Uh, yes, that one. Oh, okay. 
Uh, so that I need. Ooh, okay. Derek. <laughs> My normal beard. Can you talk to one dead people? <laughs> no. Let's make it quick. The other one might be able to. Uh, I just thought we could get some useful information of what's going on down here, maybe. That one. But, Rather dragon. Good. Uh, yeah. Depending on who goes next. Year. But I know something's oh. moving in front of us. Oh. We have to stop it Seven. moving. Mm. I know that's our go to. <laughs> Well, we did try to talk to them. They just all went... Mm. Comprehend uh, 19 oh. slashing damage. 19 oh. slashing damage. Yep. Uh, reaction uncanny dodge. Okay. Uh, so that's halved to... What's half of 19? Uh, ten. Uh, nine. Ten. 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 Rounding, rounding up. up. Yeah. Mm. So that's 10 slashing damage. That's not bad. Lovely. Lovely. And I'm back towards the group. Excellent. Um, in which case, this one... Um, that you've just slashed is next in the order anyway, so he's going to go, and he's going to charge towards the group of you, Um, and he's much faster than you, so he's going to get there, Um, and he's going to just continue to attack you, because you've just attacked him, and that seems like the logical Uh, thing to do. That's fair enough. Yeah. Um, So he's going to, I don't know why I picked that up, Um, another 17, so I'm going to say that hits. It'll be another one of these. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is that that's not the guy with disadvantage, right? No, it's the guy you that you just. I think um, the guy with disadvantage is the in my head. The guy with disadvantage is the one that's just been uh, killed. Or yeah, yeah. okay. Um, it's the, definitely yeah, the a ten advantage. Yeah. Seventeen slashing damage. Yeah. Oh, hello. Seventeen. And, oh, and I can do another attack as well. Uh, that is the hit as well, and that is. Awesome. Uh, I'm not, I've had 17 from both of these, but they've both got different modifiers. Uh, so 17 is going to hit again, and yeah. that will only be. Oh, I need, I need to be eight. Oh, no, 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 no. Got eight Luke. sides. You're all right. <laughs> I need another one. Here you go. I don't need yours. Please. In fact, uh, five, six. <laughs> I don't like that. But 10, <laughs> uh, bl- 10 piercing damage as well. Cool. As he gores you, having just charged into you. Minus um, and you now need to make a uh, strength saving throw, please. Uh, accounting, what is 74 minus 27? Strength saving throw. Yep. Uh, 40, uh, 74 is 47. 47? Yeah. Shit. That's how much health I've got there. Oh, dear. Hmm. Yeah, because yeah, I started yeah. with 84. Oh, yeah, you were pretty uh, bad. You were bit... Uh, eight. Um. Let me just look. Oh, at, let me just. Look and at you one. take an extra nine piercing damage. Damn. Oh dear. Let me just look at one of my country. I like this creature. Uh, can I try use an inspiration to reroll my saving throw? Uh, yeah, of course you can. There you go. Take one of them. Take one of them for an inspiration. Sounds really weird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you use an inspiration to reroll, yep. it gives, does it give you advantage? It's advantage. Okay, yeah. cool. That's fine. Uh, so the strength is with advantage. Is a one. Oh. Eight, eight minus seven. Oh wow! <laughs> you have a minus oh. seven to strength. Yeah, the strength oh saves. God. And um, I thought mine was bad. I have yeah. minus seven to strength saves because of the god thing. Yep. Uh, and when I rolled with advantage, I rolled a two. Oh, oh. wow! So you rolled oh, no. one the first time. So that dice is <laughs> going to get in prison. Yeah, that's not a good one. Oh uh, yes, please. Put it in jail. Throw it in. Um, in which case, um, you are pushed ten feet further back and knocked prone. Ooh, okay. no. So I'm kind of behind the guys. Right? You are, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, cool. Okay. And next in the order is Kethery. So is he right next to? He's Oops, right next to you. Yeah. Did we invoke any opportunity attacks? No, because he ran past you. He's run he's, into your melee. Range. He's like sort of he, pushed he ran, Derek back, and yeah. he's here. He literally charged into Derek, and simultaneously smashed him with a great sword and plowed into him with his big old spiky bony horns. Bony horns. Um, okay, I'm going to take a swing at him because he's right there. Uh, I haven't got my blunderbuss, so it's money maker. Yep, do it. Sounds like he can't eat vowels either. <gasps> and I rolled a 19. A 19 is going to hit my man. But it's... because I'm a champion. It's a crit, yes. It's a critical. Cool. Hey, nice, nice. Do let's... your thing. Indeed. Um, right. And I'm going to do it with two hands. All right. Do the damages. 
four, seven, eight, nine points of piercing damage. Four, seven, eight, nine. That's a big he, number. He was no, no, I was counting the dice. All right. <laughs> four. <laughs> Threw me initially. <laughs> four thousand seven hundred eighty-nine points of damage. Uh, nine points. Good piercing. axe, <laughs> which isn't great. That is a great axe. Yeah. Uh, so that's one swing. Sorry, I, well, I'm nine. Nine, nine points piercing. So that's one swing, and then I use another attack to take another swing. Mm-hmm. Oh no! Make that eight. Sorry, because it's critical. Eighteen points. Eighteen. Damage. Yes. Yeah. So it's eighteen points of damage. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. That's good. Oh, yep. Uh, and then another swing. So does a 15 hit? Um, yes, it does. Cool. I get plus 10. Oh, oh, roll very well. oh, nice. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if these cards tell me what page in the monster manual they're in as well. That's good. Ooh, that's that's cool. cool. 17 points of piercing damage. 17? Goodness me. Does that double as well? No. No, because no, oh. the first one's crit. Yep. You hit. You smack him about with your axe. Now roll D100. Oh, a couple yeah. of times. Yep. I'm trying to think of the mechanics for the next bit. Uh, 24 bits of gold from the first hit. And 78 bits of gold. Oh, many golds. Oh. Many golds. You're richer than almost everyone in Galea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. So I remember to scoop those up later. Um, now, what I can do is uh, I've still got a bonus action to go. and I, still, I can still move. But yep. as a bonus action, I can use an offhand weapon. But I did swing just with, with, with two hands. Two hands so, yeah. so none of those. No. Um, you don't currently have an offhand weapon because you're using both. Use two hands. Yeah. So I can't use it. I can't attack with a bonus action. Um, Sounds like you're done. Hunter's mark. Well, I've already done the damage. Should have done it first. Yeah, that's true. Mm. You There's another time? one there. You could put oh, Hunter's mark on the other yeah. one. Yeah, I'll do that. All right, there you I'll, go. I'll do Hunter's mark on. Do do no the thing. Sort of. If you, I suppose, yeah. Twist of Keth's arm, uh, twist of his wrist, and you all can see like a smoky red crosshair appear on the creature, on the forehead of the, cr- the other creature in the distance. So it's nice. like he's been marked. That's uh, the way I would see it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Like That's a- cool. <laughs> and then all the hair falls off his body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But just in that crosshair. <laughs> um, crosshair. I uh, then... All makes... Or stay where... If I disengage, I'll invoke attack of opportunity. Is he still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. Oh, shit, okay. You can't disengage because you've used your action. Yeah, yeah exactly, so I can't. Yeah, yeah. Unless I action surge and they disengage. Then just leave them. That feels like a waste of a use of action yeah. surge. Yeah, and it'll leave the squishy ones Yeah, behind to get mauled. Mm-hmm. So stay in me a bit, but be a sponge. Okay, just cool. In case. And next is... Wow, Milo, you rolled really poorly, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> what I did just you... realised you're right at the bottom of this list. What did you end up with? 16? No, I had uh, 18 plus 4. Well, it's... It... Plus four was the modifier. Yeah, that was the problem. You all rolled like 18s. Mm. And yeah. You had the lowest modifier. <laughs> no, I think Chip. Chip. Had the lowest yeah, modifier. Jeff uh, has the lowest modifier. I've got one. Oh. In which case? I would have thought I would still be last. Yeah, I think you are. Yeah. For some reason, I've put you in there. In which case, Milo, um, it would appear through a happy circumstance that you're next. Oh. Am I? Uh, yes, you are, yes. Yes, you are. Okay. <laughs> I, I just well, said, you're what are you doing? Oh, roll to hit. Okay. What, what, oh, with what? Fuck's sake. What are you rolling to? With what? Did you just eat that? No. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> He's just eating a dice. I hope it's not a D4. That's going to be My D20 roll bad, so I ate it. <laughs> What's it made of? Biscuits? You know, you know they're plastic, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> It's a metal one. That was a really impressive. <laughs> Is that gone? It's gone. Yeah. Oh my god! You need new dice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell did happen there? <laughs> hey, uh, astonishing. Do we all have to do the air? Eat that one. <laughs> do that one. <laughs> it's about the size of a good berry. Eat a <laughs> chunk. No, I can't eat that. <laughs> <laughs> what else can we get him to eat? Is it jelly? Do you, want, do you want to see? Yeah, yeah, go on. Let's have a look. Go on, get them out. And then get those dice out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> wait. No. Paul's currently uh, wrestling some, some product from his bag. Yeah. That sounds weird. It's cocaine. <laughs> You're not on a microphone, Paul. <laughs> yeah. Get back on the microphone. Come on, come back over to join us. 
Hello. Hi. Uh, where, where did you go? So I, I went over there oh. out of mm. out of view. Okay. Out of shot. Out of earshot. Um, Carry on. So we spoke to some lovely people. Me oh, we and James did. did from the Wanderers Rest. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, they sent us some chocolate. <gasps> yeah, they did. <gasps> chocolate dice, edible dice. The best way to get rid of those cursed dice. Eat them. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the Wanderers Rest <laughs> <laughs> there's a lovely lollipop in here that uh, says cast fireball yeah and there's a and lovely uh, there's a lovely note on the box that says gluten free our next delivery of transfer sheets will be gluten free mm. so after that all printed designs will be gluten free mm. so they're your edible dice mm. hey nuglitons can anybody can I, else yeah, wants I, to we can share I will certainly have a crack I'd love to have a look edible dice can Which, I just about yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look exactly look, like his like dice no his way wow <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Let's have a go. I'm sorry. Oh, are you going to roll it first? That one was plastic. <laughs> <laughs> that one was plastic, to be fair. I tend to use D6s for damage, so I'll put a D6 in there. Yeah, just enjoy the sound of rustling plastic while I act like a complete fool and work out, work out how to get into a plastic bag. <laughs> yeah, can you pass me a D6 out of that? that I'm in! Because I should have rolled before. Would you like one of these? <laughs> I, wasn't uh, That's fine. Uh, I need D8s. I need. A D6. No. I'm not going to eat it until I need to roll. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw chocolate and ate it <laughs> straight away. They're good though. They are. They're good very chocolate. tasty. Mm. Very good. What is happening? Here, uh, they are also going. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting comfortable. I can tell. They're going to UKGE, so I will be getting more. Yes, please. Please. <laughs> They're well, delicious. Cool. They're really nice. Mm. Mm. I will. Yeah. And co- coincidentally, five minutes before. Um, I just did that. Yeah. They messaged me right. on Messenger with uh, the chocolate bar design for the gluten free. Ooh. Um, there it oh, is. Oh, here it is. Uh, oh, wow. That's that's cool. Cool. So they've got a new printed transfer design. Oh, can we get them? That's cool. Are you comfortable with the way, Jim? No. 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 Why are your legs on his face? <laughs> <laughs> They're out. So I'm they gonna, were I'm going to roll properly. But... If are we still still in this? Yeah, we're are still recording. We yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, roll properly for Eldritch Blast. Then. Oh yeah, do it. Oh, I'm going to be sound back on now. Yeah, what are you? <gasps> the fight has started again. Yeah, they pause for us to eat chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to forget which one's this chocolate, aren't I? <laughs> well, if you put it in your mouth and try and chew it, uh, and it doesn't chew, it's not that one. Uh, that's a fifteen to the one that's got Hunter's Mark. Um. Yeah, it hit. And okay, so that's four. that's f- yeah. I'm gonna shoot four eldritch blasts. I it. would. It's a wise idea. Sorry, I was just thinking. So. All right, uh, I'm eating a d20. <laughs> uh, okay. are you ready, accounting? Oh, they're really mm. nice. Mm. Accounting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, a ten. That's ten. That's fifteen. That's twenty-five. That's twenty-one. Hold on. What are you doing? I'm, what are I'm you? editing it. I'm no, editing. no, don't ask him no, to add it up. Yeah, you, can't, you can't <laughs> call in accounting and then do the work yourself. And then okay. It, what? 10. Yeah. 5. 5. Well, that's 15. 6. six. Well, that's 21. You were right so far. <laughs> and uh, 5. Cool. That's that was 26. slightly. That's why I took over. It was slightly easier to spell. Sorry, what <laughs> tax returns are a mess. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, I've got to ask. What number? What, what were you rolling then? D10. D10. Okay, does Eldritch Blast not have, like, modifiers? Isn't it plus your... I think it's plus your char. Yeah, plus your charisma modifier, isn't it? So For every be, hit. Each one would have that plus your charisma modifier on it as well. Or I mean, if your charisma's zero, then sure, but... My charisma's plus two. Yeah, so it'll be plus two for every one of those. Okay, so that's... Uh, well, it's like eight, it, but I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Uh, it's, it is just one D10 plus. Yeah. What? Yeah. I thought it Range was spell attack against the target, 1d10 force damage. You get an extra bolt as you level up. That's all it says. No? Yeah. Oh, weird. And that's D&D Beyond. Mm. I, was, I thought I was going to say about it. Maybe it's because he's not a charisma caster. Mm. Pass. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. No? Oh, well. Either uh, way. So, what, 20, what? 26. 26? Yeah, okay. Confirmed by account. Well, after they tried to do their own account. Yeah. 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 <laughs> End of your attacks was brilliant. And yeah, I just signed it off. Yeah, that's cool. good. Yeah. Great. Uh, cool. Uh, next is the that one, then. Yep. Um, and given that 
you just bolt at him, he's going to charge down hall well, and charge at you. Expect nothing. Oh, I mean, it's only fair, really, isn't yeah. it? And that will be a uh, 16. How yeah. big is it? Medium. Uh, yeah. Very personal question. <laughs> How uh, big? Imagine oh, a Pringles no. can. <laughs> I will tell you this. <laughs> but one it's of the a large creature. Yeah. Ah. The la- <gasps> so what is it? Is it plus one with a ring of giants? Like? I don't, I don't plus know. You two. 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 That's seventeen. That's oh, 12. then he misses. Twelve plus your dex plus two. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's for large creature. Mm-hmm. Large Ooh. or bigger? Yeah. He misses. Excellent. You because you're tiny. You step swiftly aside Oof. as he uh, swings at you with his big old sword Ooh. axe. I should say sword axe. Sax. It's a saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> you do know, with the Ring of Giants, though, it also adds two to your attack rolls as well. He hit anyway. Yeah. Does oh, it? Yeah. it? Just, just. Really? Knowledge. Yeah, it I does. Yeah. A, large, a, pla- a plain copper ring that grants the wearer plus two to AC and plus two to attack rolls against enemy, any enemy in the large or bigger size. There you go. <laughs> the more you know. Yeah, perfect timing as always. Let's face it, we need a break from that nonsense that those four fling all over the beautiful world that I've created. So, sit down, grab a drink, and let's get cracking with your favourite part of the show, your moment with the Dungeon Master. Now, I always do this bit first because, well, it's absolutely the most important, and that's to say a huge thank you for being here on deck with us again. Your support is the wind in our sails, pushing us along towards the tropical island of podcast success. So, from all of us here in the Royal Botanic crew, once again, thank you. Pedro! Shout out scroll! Post haste boy! Ah, unusually swift of you, Pedro. Almost on time, actually. No, you can't have a biscuit. Because they're my biscuits. Yes, they're people biscuits. No, they're biscuits for people, not made out of people. Just... You're on a biscuit warning anyway. Look, enough biscuit nonsense. Just give me the scroll and then shoo yourself. Be gone! Anyway, this week's shout-out goes to Enter the Black Vault, who mentioned us on Instagram with an hilarious quip about a negative hours contract. Yeah. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. We are so glad that you're loving the show. Want a shout-out of your own? Well, luckily for you, we've made it incredibly easy for you to get one. All you need to do is fire up your favourite social media. Yeah, well, that doesn't matter if it's uh, X or Facebook or Instagram or Mastodon or, well, you know, Blue Skies even, yeah? That, and, well, very much on, we're very much on Discord as well. So whether it's uh, a DM or a comment or a post or a photo or some artwork that you've made, we don't mind just as long as you get involved. Now, if you're loving our ocean-going oddness and you want to do something wonderful for the show, then, well, you can leave us a lovely five-star review on Spotify, Apple, YouTube, whatever you choose to listen to our podcast. Your reviews help more adventurers find us and join our merry crew, and it really helps get the good word about Royal Britannia out there. And if you're craving even more Royal Britannia, then you should become a Royal Britannia patron uh from as little as just two pounds per month you could get access to a whole host of exclusive content backstories and even ad free episodes and so much more besides that a whole shed load more in fact your support helps us keep making the show bigger and better so check out our patreon at patreon.com forward slash roll britannia that's patreon.com forward slash r-o-l-l-b-r-i-t-a-n N-I-A, yeah, to learn more. Wait, what's that on the horizon? It, uh, it looks like some ships. Well, knock me down, it's a fleet of sponsorships! It is Ryan Seacrest here. Everybody needs some variety in life. That's what I love about Chumba Casino. They know how to keep things fresh and exciting. All their games are free to play. Like spin slots, bingo, and solitaire, you can claim free daily login bonuses too. And they release new games every week. So spice things up with ChumbaCasino.com now for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Sponsored by Chumba Casino. No purchase necessary. VGW Group. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. 
Before you dive back into the adventure though, hit that subscribe button, otherwise Derek will rope you into testing out his new prototype false beards, and you do not want to know where he's harvested some of that hair from. Yeah. Well, that's all for now. You need to get back in there and enjoy the adventure. So, go on, get back in there. Go! Yeah? Yeah. Uh, cool. Um, Jeff, unless you've got anything else you want to do. Hef. No? Cool. Soft, Jeff. Hef. Hef. Um, I would like... So you have two of them around you. <coughs> two of them around me? Yeah, you're, you're in with everyone else and two of them have just come charging down. One of them battered Derek. Yeah. He Push basically, like, cricketed me. He did, yeah. Well, they're all within he, five. He happy Gilmore'd him back yeah. down the hallway. <laughs> and you're pro now, aren't you? Mm -hmm. yep. Not supine. But they're all within five. Not ramp. They are definitely all within five feet of you. Um, <laughs> Rampon. Rampon. I'm couchant at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, On a field of azure. <laughs> yeah, azure. Well, a field of sort of murky brown. Yeah, murky brown. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they're quite quick, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they're pretty fast. How far past them can I see? Down a corridor. But what sort of distance? Well, you feet? can't see in the dark, so as far as your light will go. But about 40 foot. Well, you can see clearly up to 20, 20 feet, and then dimly for another 20. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't really go that far past them. Um... Actually, yeah, just to, just to give us a bit of breathing. I don't know what their speed is, but to give us a bit of breathing room, I will scatter all of us as far as I can past them. Okay. Um, you can see 40 foot. So. 40 foot. So I'm going to take us all 40 foot past them. Cool. Okay. And then so we just you, sort of swap places. Cool. Yeah, essentially just move us around. So we're the other side of them now. Cool. Um, and then I would like to use... Well, Derek my... is slightly less than 40 feet away because he was further back than you. No, yeah. but I've, I've, no, I've moved him. So moved him yeah, he's so still he... prone, though. Yeah, I'm still prone. Uh, in a big gang yeah. together, but he's on, on his back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, on his front. He's but he's no longer like in D and D. Prone can mean back or front. Yeah, yeah you're just, just lying down. Oh uh, right, I'm it just means on the floor. But then I'm going Ooh. to use um, my uh, quicken spell, uh -huh. uh, meta magic, to mean that I can use a bonus action to cast a fire bolt. Cool. Um, at, nice. At the uh, let's go with the the, the one who's. Got the hunter's mark because I believe he's the least damaged. He's which the healthiest. One, which one looks the uh, the most battered? They look about the same. Okay, uh, the one that just attacked Milo. Then I will <coughs> fire at him. Okay, with a lie. Oh, that was a twelve plus my spell attack bonus. That would be a twenty-three to hit. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Excellent. Lovely. And then because I'm now seventeen, I can use more detail. You'll do it. 40 10. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. It will go on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to eat the D4 next. Do you want another D10? It's the most satisfying. You want a chocolate mm -hmm. D10? Mm. Fuck this D D4. <laughs> You're not going to hurt anyone. <laughs> Except my digestive. No, it very much works. It's gluten free. It's gluten free. Ah, you yeah. be go right on in there. Carry on in. <laughs> Fill your boots. <laughs> Wake yourself at home. <laughs> 20 Until I am 25 so damages. <laughs> 20 what sort of damages? Fire damage. Fire damages. <laughs> Just checking I'm not vulnerable to it. That's the sound of your flame, is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, it's fine. It's 25. God, they are good. Mm, they're, they're, right. Right. they're really good. They're really good. Mm. I strongly recommend them. We're not even sponsored by them. I no, absolutely recommend them. I highly them, recommend checking out thewondersrest.com. Yep. Like a, like a white chocolate flavor. Mm -hmm. I know, it's really nice. The one nice. I've got is dark chocolate. Oh, is it? Really mine's nice. definitely white yeah. chocolate. Mm, mine, mine was white. Well, mine's orange, but it tastes like white chocolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. food coloring for you. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> it all makes sense now. These are like lovely d dark chocolate oh, colored. I will give you that with a, back for you. I don't like dark chocolate. With a, um, well, it's, it's kind of like... On no, the verge between, fell for it. On the verge between milk and dark mm. Nicer. So, Paul, was this was this gluten free or no? That is gluten free. Oh, yeah. sick! All of the, all, everything they've sent us is gluten free. Sick. No, James has got special gluten free. Ones. Yeah, I did. Uh, and then all of their next stuff when they get their new transfer sheets. Yeah, it was basically, um, I had a bar that I ate at work. <laughs> yeah, I was hungry, <laughs> <laughs> and um, that had like a transfer thing got on the mm. circle. Whereas I think they've just sort of drawn ah, that on with the piping. 
Yeah, um, sort of, yeah. So they can properly transfer. Yeah, it's sort of engraved in and then they've sort of painted it with this yeah. cool bronzy stuff, which is what that note was in the yeah. box. Sick! Uh, sorry, are you, anything else you're doing? Uh, that is everything for me. Cool. Uh, next up then is Derek of Normal Beards. I would like to use half my movement to, to stand up. Stand. That's a good idea. Uh, they are 40, 40 feet away. 40 feet away. I will fire at the closest one with an arcane pistol. Uh, they're about they're about the same distance, so I pick would one. Like to f- the one that hit you or the one that didn't hit you? You got the one that hit you or the one that you got advantage on? <laughs> no, I don't have advantage oh. on I, any of them. The, they just have disadvantage against everybody else. Oh, okay. Um, no, that one died. Oh, it, yeah, yeah, no, it did. That one died. If, did it have any loose clothing that might be fine? Huh. Uh, no. Yeah. Uh, I no. will... Not according to this picture, no. I will okay. fire at whichever one. It's naked. Uh, oh, he's le- extremely naked. <laughs> oh, no. Left. <laughs> the one on the left. Yeah, I'll okay. fire at the one on Fine. the left. And I get plus two to my attack roll. Because yep. there's a ring of giant slam. Yeah, you do. Hey, that's pretty nice. Mm-hmm. That is a 15 total. Yeah, that uh, that is going to hit, yeah. Yeah. That's quite a low roll for you. Mm. Yeah, because I rolled a, th- a, a trace. And I get plus 12 to hit. Nice. <laughs> Uh, 2d6, which yep. is, uh, s- uh, 2d6 plus 1, so s- 8 points of fire, of damage, and then 1d4 fire damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, 1d4 plus, yeah, 1d4 fire, so yep. 2 points of fire, so 10, Ten. points All right. total. Mm-hmm. From one bullet. 8 piercing. 2 fire. Two fire. Eight, uh, 10 points total, yeah? Yeah, and we have said in the past that it counts as magical damage. That's no, fine. didn't we wreck on that? It, uh, no, it's not magical damage. No, it's no. Not. The fire damage is magical damage, but... Yeah, there you go. Yes, uh, it was the braces right. of blades that magical damage. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. they are just a piece of magic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> whereas, the, whereas your pistols still fire a chunk of lead. Yeah. yeah. The arcane nature, it gives it the fire. Yeah. It? it creates magical fire that shoots it, which is why the fire itself, the fire damage is magical. Sizzly. Sizzly. <laughs> Sizzly damage. Yes. You have been sizzled, sir. Uh, anything else, Derek? Uh, I think that's it, actually. Nice. Yeah. Uh, cool. So it's that one's go again. How um, close together are these two currently? They're within five feet of each other. Oh, each other, right. Yeah. Um, but he's 40 feet from you, and his movement speed is 40 feet, so he's going to charge you down again. <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, Shield me. Uh, that'll be a... Oh, that's quite a good one. Um... 23 to hit. And Oof. whom? You. I'm behind everybody. No, you said we all dropped in one place. We circle. all dropped in the same place. You were just on the floor next to us. Yeah. We all stood because we um, you didn't just pick go. us up and move the scene. Yeah, you yeah. Picked us all up and plonked us and all if they had, Even big, if they had done that, you'd group. definitely be in front of everybody. That's true. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I just grouped. Um, but yeah, I, I was told you were all grouped together. Mm. Okay. Cool. I really, I thought I was behind, but mm, that's fine. fine. Uh, let's roll two d twelve. Is an twelve or is it? No, it's a twenty. That's that's twelve. Yeah. Is this just one attack? Uh, this is the first attack. Yep. Okay. Uh, so that's, <laughs> that's many. Fourteen plus four, so eighteen uh, slashing damage. Halved to nine, is it? Mm-hmm. Nine is half of eighteen. Half to nine. Okay. Because of my fine. uncanny touch. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and then we get so I've moved at least ten feet towards the target. And now I'm going to with a gore attack. Do the eight. Not much cover in a tunnel. No. Um eight plus six. Uh, than you 14 <laughs> yep uh plus four which is 18 mm-hmm. um so 18 piercing damage plus an extra nine piercing damage for doing it uh on turn on the turn that we moved uh and you need to ra- make a, set, a strength saving throw 27 27 total yep. Ooh, i'm about 11 squishy mm-hmm. Strength saving throw, please. Strength save. This is not going too good. Uh, but you're incredibly strong. <clears throat> uh, ah, that's not too bad. It's probably still fail. Uh, it's a 10 total. No, that fails. Yeah. Oh, no. 
Uh, so yeah, you are knocked prone and sent ten feet backwards. Lovely. So well, now further I'm, down the tunnel. Now I am behind. Yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> On the ground again. Okay. You got back up and got charged again. I I get knocked down. It's like oh yes. I'm, ah, <laughs> but I can I think, actually just one second. <laughs> Just, just keep me down. Yeah, just keep me down for now. <laughs> I'm um, so angry. I'm going to eat this D6 that I found on the floor. Mm. Huh. Oh fuck! Apropos of nothing. <laughs> oh, that's a real one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a glass one. Mm. I'm going to need new teeth on the company. <laughs> um, okay, I think that makes it Kath's go. Mm. Oh, it's definitely your go. Oh no, yeah, but just yeah, continue. Yeah, okay. You. okay. Now he's within this. That dude is within five feet. Uh, yes, yes, he is. Mm-hmm. You've got one that's 40 feet away and one that's five feet away. Which one, just to clarify, has the hunter's mark? Is it the close to us or far uh, away? No, it's the far away one. Right. Fuck that. Because you hit this one last time and then cast hunter's mark on the other one. Ready, yep. I suppose. Okay. Um, I am going to use... We've got Bertha, the musket, in my hand. Okay. But because of my um, my feet, it means I even though... What's wrong with your feet? My f- uh, there's two of them. Ah, are they both oh, left? Yeah, <laughs> flat. Ah, <laughs> they're arches. Oh no, wrong character. Yeah. Um, I don't get. Um, there's no disadvantage at all for using a ranged weapon up close and personal. No, that's true. The- true. So I'm going to use two attacks and fire twice into this creature. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do it. I will. Do it then. Come on. Get on with it. Coward. Coward. Come on. Oh, okay. Eighteen. Does that hit? It sure does. And the other shot. Uh, 21. Yep. This one? Yeah. Got a very low AC. So, the first shot. Uh, 11 points of damage. Okay. So, that's 9 piercing. No, sorry. 11 piercing. Yep. And 1 fire. Okay. And the second shot is 10 piercing. Okay. And one fire. Okay. Um, so that's you... two, uh, yeah, one action, two attacks, two shots. Okay. Um, please, please describe how you end this skeleton minotaur. Oh, <laughs> okay, cool. So Keth swings, he's put Moneymaker back on his back mm-hmm. uh, and he swings round from the strap. Bertha two. Yep. And... Seeing that this creature's been distracted by just knocking death prone, he pulls, he, he rams the barrel up into the creature's stomach. Oh, oh hell yeah. Well, where his stomach isn't, but yeah. yeah. Well, There's a skeleton. The cage. Well, yeah, where it is, up into, rams it up in his rib cage. Rattles around. Rattles around. Uh, blam! And then, uh, oh, I can't think of any skeleton puns. Um... Bone voyage. <laughs> <laughs> and then it pulls nice. the second one, boom, it just explodes his torso <laughs> and kills him. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't kill him. Though. That's yeah. terrifying. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, the, the skeleton sort of disintegrates into a collection of bones as they splash gently into the sort of ankle deep water that's uh, filling this tunnel. <laughs> Excellent. So he's now done. And then the 40 feet away is yep. the uh, final enemy, number three. Yes. Who has Hunter's Mark on his head. Uh, yes. Uh, that's a concentration spell, so I can't do anything else. So I am going to action surge and take okay. two shots. Do it. At range. Do it. With Bertha 2, because it's still in hand. Do it. I will. Uh, does this, yeah, 17 does hit. Um, and a 24 that hits? It does, yes. It's a 17 hit. <laughs> 17 hits. It does a 24. You're confident yes. about the 17. Worried about the 24. <laughs> yes, you fuckwit. Okay, five, six. Um, seven points of piercing. Two points of fire and add on an extra five for the hunter's mark. So How many is that? Fourteen. Fourteen? Okay. First shot number one. Okay. Shot number two. Yep. Is... That's an eight. So ten points of piercing. Uh-huh. One point of fire. Uh-huh. And then add on for the hunter's mark another five points of damage. Uh, you have become Keth... Uh, destroyer of worlds. Please describe how you destroyed this Minotaur as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now Keth's really good at destroying Minotaurs. He's, he, as, uh, as the smoke and the bones of it's clear from that previously exploded carcass, mm-hmm. Keth swings 
He now starts, he focuses one eye and looks down the end of the tunnel, 40 feet away, and sees this other, now slightly nervous looking monster. <laughs> and he remembers the red smoke. The red smoky crosshair. Yep. Um, and what he does, he doesn't aim for that first with the first shot, he aims slightly lower. Into uh, the balls. <laughs> into, right into the big, where the ball sack would be, but where it would normally would have met the body. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Places a well aimed shot straight up into there to boom and go, oh! And then as it's sort of crouching down, he then sends what he just goes oh, and squeeze the trigger and then poof, out of the end of the barrel with a spark of magical energy. The fire from the arcane musket spins the bullet out and smacks him right in the middle of the head. And there is, as we know, a certain place on a certain head. <laughs> if you shoot it, it will explode. Yeah. Which Especially true of monitors. Sure. Yeah. Poof. That are entirely bone. <laughs> And then Kev, satisfied with the situation, just goes. <laughs> hey, lovely. <laughs> and swings both two back of his back. Goes, Derek, come on, get up. I keep getting knocked down. Come and on, get back up I, again. I really don't feel well. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> we did it! Kev did it! And then it's like a. Mm, mm. <laughs> 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 I thought that portal was. More. <laughs> I thought um, I was going to get away with it. <laughs> Delayed scatter vomit. Some, somebody. So you did this whole thing with a mouthful of vomit. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm trying to get yes, better. He did. Okay. Um, didn't want to throw up on the victims. <laughs> um, Not an animal. Can somebody please heal me? I, I took a couple of big fucking hits there. I need to learn to stay behind you guys, I think. Because I'm quick, but I am bloody squishy. I'm mm -hmm. bloody now. Mm. Uh, and yeah. covered in cat vomit. <laughs> Some mass healing probably wouldn't go amiss. Go I know it. I didn't get hit, but I didn't really get much. Do you have mass healing? Time. Anybody? I don't. Oh, <laughs> I'm looking at uh, that side right. of the table. That would be perfect. Yeah. I'm not good. I can. I could cure your wounds. That would. Yeah, that would be helpful. It is the wounds that are causing me the is trouble. It, is it the wounds? <laughs> it's all of these wounds. <laughs> Fair with me. Let me find the right dice. One, nah. two, <laughs> seven, six. Ah, oh, six. Um, plus two. Yeah, that's it. Seven plus six plus two. Seven plus six plus six plus two. Seven plus six plus six plus two is twenty-one. Twenty-one. Have twenty-one health. Uh, puts me up to thirty-three. Oh, go on then. No, thirty-two. I'll get involved as well. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that was a third level cure wounds. Bloody powerful, I know. Third, third level, level. stand back. Health. I'll cast prayer <laughs> of healing at fifth level. Oh, what a what a gent. Another round and I would have got Bill out. I'm going to do meta magic. Who's Bill out? I'm going to use meta magic. <laughs> oh, Bill's no. Bill out. No, no. Yeah, so. Well, well, I was asking you who he was. That's better. Don't remember being in the show? No. no. We're very mind. welcome to, though. He's a lovely chap. Yeah, yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Uh, with that's another thirty points with my roll. Okay, so I'm at sixty-two now. Thank you very much. And I'll take down those sorcery points. That. Uh, oh, thanks, guys. That's um. I still feel a bit. Should you need? Did anyone else need any healing at that point? Yeah, I could then you all yeah. get that. It all get four, thirty. All, all four of us. Any, anyone who no, needs I'm, it, I'm, I'm completely fine. Oh, yeah, the I'm, monitors I'm really, really like some healing. <laughs> yeah, but they're dead. It doesn't count. <laughs> they were dead before. It's true. It has no effect on undead creatures or contracts, so... Ha! Well, mm, now, Milo. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh. He's only technically undead. Yeah. It's the best. <laughs> if it was Malrus, you know, you wouldn't be getting it. Oh, both dead. Technically. Mm, no, but he's currently of. being brought back to life. <laughs> Malrus. Uh, yeah, thank Because he's a grave. That, um... Mm. It's gone a little bit. I still feel a bit shaky. Will you stop complaining? We're doing all we can. I know, I know. Let's just <laughs> let's just get through to this ledger, shall we? <laughs> yeah, ledger. I still feel a bit. I still feel a bit. Shut up. <laughs> uh, uh, fine. Come on, let's go. You oh, look fine. Just a bit sliced up. <laughs> It's just Kev mocking Derek. <laughs> I know. I don't know where it came from. so good. <laughs> Carrying on, on this? 
<laughs> Come on. If I had a good brie, I wouldn't give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, Derek's not saying anything now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you trudge for a significant amount of time longer. Um, down a corridor. Uh, Can I please yep. keep checking for traps but not tell anybody? <laughs> Actually, fair. no, I'll tell the others, but not, <laughs> yeah. not Kev. Yeah, for fair. sure you can. Yeah. <laughs> yes, if he finds anything, fair. he's certainly going to tell me and Milo. Don't stand yeah. there. Very, very fair. <laughs> I found something over there. Uh, don't tell the green guy. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell that new oh. tall guy. 16. Uh, yeah, you don't spot any traps. Watch out, Kath. <laughs> what? <laughs> roll deception. <laughs> oh. Do I have versus, to roll insight? Yeah, versus your, yep, yeah. Versus your insight. We haven't done this for ages. <laughs> yeah. But lie to each other. Oh, okay. He's very good at deception. Yeah. <laughs> 10. 30. <laughs> <laughs> you I absolutely believe him. Believe him. <laughs> ah, where? 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 Geth freezes. Just, just where shouldn't your, I step? Just don't lift your leg. Step to your you're, right. You're on a pressure plate. Step to your right. <laughs> to, I'm going to roll insight to see if I actually believe Derek or not as well. I want he was to, pretty deceptive. I want yeah. to make him step directly into a turd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, 20, okay, 24, 24, I believe you as well. Oh. I, now, no, oh. no, 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 stay. Just, it's a very, very clever trap. Now, okay. Put your left foot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in. 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 <laughs> Do what he says. In. Not next to my right foot. Yeah. Yeah, pull that out. No, no, no. Milo, 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 Milo. You, don't even, you don't know how to decide. Have you rolled, have you rolled inside? <laughs> what did you get? Terrible. I'm just yeah. going along with it. Okay. You don't. Guys, my feet are this together. is a very serious situation. Yeah. Okay. My feet are together. I'm going to yeah, I'm going to back up. Your left foot in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to also back up. Yeah. Come on, Jeff, back up. Yeah, yeah. Your left back foot up. out. Back to take, where, I, where it was. Like, take it out. Okay, okay. Now shake it all about. <laughs> okay. oh, oh, it's flicking. Oh. Oh. That's why I backed up. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you, what you're going to do is you're going to have to put your left foot back in. Uh. Okay. And uh. then you're going to have to put your head bend <laughs> over. Oh. Just do it, Kev. Your head Just do it. We don't know how long this is. Between gonna... your legs. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Put your head between your legs. And right. And kiss your ass. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Oh. <laughs> and now Kev's covered in shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who should shut up and stop complaining now, you fucking great green ape? <laughs> Fine. You wow. jolly green giant. Yeah, you jolly green <laughs> jackass. God. Oh, I deserve that. I deserve that. <laughs> oh, stay back, you yes. giant you green <laughs> All right, let's carry on. Come on. Yeah, let's go get this ledger. He needs off. a shower. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> <laughs> you can feel free to roll around in the water that's on the floor <laughs> if you like. Um, you lupine bitch. <laughs> Uh, now, <laughs> okay. You lupine bitch is such a great, bit. great insult. <laughs> you ever feel like you've lost control? <laughs> I never have control, James. <laughs> oh, so you're walking down then. this corridor, and you get to not a door this time. It's a uh, lupine. Bitch. You begin to hear mm. the sound of. Um, <laughs> it's a new scent. Quite normal bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eau de parfum. Yeah. <laughs> Derek following Keth around, collecting all his fluff and can, putting it can in that water. Go in the merch store. <laughs> the lupine, oh, lupine, lupine bitch. bitch. <laughs> Eau de Keth. Dog piss. New fragrance from normal bit. <laughs> Why is it yellow? And the advert is just him digging on a beach. <laughs> just digging, digging, digging. And then nothing. Just poof. <laughs> loads of dog hair. Yeah, loads of dog hair. Can we make this? I really want to make this. If somebody can animate that for us. I'm pretty sure there's a perfume. I'd love yeah. it. Perfume ads are really kind of weird when you think That's about it. That's what I mean. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. someone digging it's, on a bench. It's visually trying to represent a really specific smell that no one else... Yeah could possibly what does it fucking smell like yeah. but now do that from the point of view of having no frame of reference of any yeah. smell 
what are you guys doing on the moon? This is the best fragrance in the world. Mm. <laughs> or out of the world. Mm. It's like, oh yeah, we're, uh, we've got this new aftershave. What we'd like is uh, to, to really sort of describe how this smells. What we need is Johnny Depp driving through the California desert and then digging a hole and putting his rings in it. Ooh. And then I need a carrion bird mm. to be there. and Possibly a wolf. Or poss- and a wolf. And that, that will describe the smell. But do you think it but, works? And what's no, it no, called? Listen, listen. I've got one question. Do you think it's eau de sauvage? Yeah. Sausage. <laughs> I've got one question though. What kind of shirt is he wearing? <laughs> it doesn't matter because it's all the way open, <laughs> apart from one button. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> oh. Yeah, perfume ads are weird. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Um, anyway, so you <laughs> eau de cath aside. Yeah, eau de cath aside. Uh, you reach uh, a, an area of this uh, of this. At this tunnel where it's open much wider and it sort of forms a, a sort of uh, a walkway around the end, the sort of circumference, if you will, of a sort of circular waterfall. All the way around, there is a waterfall. Mm. From falling. ceiling to floor or from floor just into the abyss below? Ceiling to floor. Okay. All the way around. Mm. Okay. So every, every wall has a wall. So, You've yeah. got a, a, a stone wall. Stone wall. And then a walkway. And then in on the other side is a waterfall and it forms a circle all the way around. So essentially it's, it'd be like us looking down into the uh, the rim of a pit as if you were no, looking no. at no, it's no, like no. A, it's like a curtain. What I but then, but yeah. Yeah, so there's a rim of a pit, but then there's water that's no, has no. a curtain around it. There's no pit. It's a room. Yeah. And the waterfall, this is what I asked, goes from fl- uh, ceiling to floor, yep. not floor into the abyss. Yep. It's not like we're at the top of a waterfall. Yep. No, no, but I, I wasn't sure if, if, the water, if the waterfall is falling. To this floor, so the this, waterfall this, all the way this, around. This no, no, like all the way around. That's what I'm saying. So there's there's a, there's a hole that it's going down into. But oh, it's you're saying the from... rim is the pit. Yeah, we're uh, we're halfway in the pit, uh, uh, and then it, does it go like further? That, yeah. yeah, but yeah, you have no well, idea. It's like a moat. You have no idea whether it goes further down or if there's just a grate there or anything because you can't see through the water because it's a churning. Uh, maelstrom of water pouring from but the we can, we can assume that it goes somewhere corrected. because it's not it's filling, not filling up yeah. yes <clears throat> cool. they need you to get their water pressure corrected because that last one was great that laminar flow or whatever it was called it was I could do with that again to be fair I smelly. tell you what you could should get into that water <laughs> mm. to go back did you ever play the water temple <laughs> I'm getting water temple <laughs> vibes from Legend of Zelda I don't know what that is Ocarina of Time no idea no isn't Zelda like Kef you're quite strong aren't you I'm it's agree. got lots. Well, uh, strongish. Well, he had lots. Um, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to hold hands and lean me into this waterfall so I can see what's inside it? Drop him. Drop him. Drop him. <laughs> can I have a look at the map? Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to link hands with Keth. Can he? Can we sort of like lean me out through the water? To yeah. See? Keth's going to roll. You, in fact, you're both going to roll a strength check. Keth to hold on to you and you to hold on to Keth. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. <clears throat> that was the last thing sort of Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look like Keth's rolled very well either. What did you get? <laughs> Probably less than you still. I got an eight. Oh, I beat you. I got a 12. We got a 20 max total between us. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's not how that works. Oh. That's not how that works. I thought we, we critted between the two of us. <laughs> Oh, so we get double strength. Sure, yeah. We're incredibly strong as a team. Okay, cool. So it happens. <laughs> we move the tunnel. <laughs> Man, well, yeah. next puzzle. It's interesting that you should say about it moving. Can I? Uh, the there's a thing. About, we're gonna we're gonna rectify the rec- We're gonna look at this first because this yeah, has happened. On. Yeah, yeah, no, go on. Keep talking. Yeah. Um, but Keth, you you grasp hold of Jeff. Um, Jeff, you you grasp hold of Keth, and Jeff, you hold on very very tightly. And oh. Keth, you sort of hold on. Dead slippy. You're you're a bit shitty. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, and you lead so him out, um, and it's not uh, sweat. Oh, because uh, Jeff, because you rolled averagely. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> um, I'm going to give me. you an opportunity to make a deck save to not uh, because Keth Keth's not going to hold on to you. Okay, uh, I'm going to give you a deck save to re grab him. Okay, uh, Thank you. I'm losing you. I'm losing you. Why are you so sweaty? 16. 16. You manage to do... Your grip slips and you just swing your arm and grab him again. 
Oh, Keth, but imagine. Keth is not holding you. You are now holding Keth. Okay. okay. So can I pull myself back through the water? But as I'm doing, can I quickly have a little glance to see if I... Yeah, roll perception check. Oh, it's good. <laughs> Wrong hand. <laughs> <laughs> Scratch your nose. Uh, 19. Uh, you see through this... Uh, as you sort of lean through. You get absolutely drenched. And oh. Keth gets quite wet as well because the spray is falling off you. A bit of poo comes off. A bit of poo comes off. Excellent. Um, but not it's, much. It's quite painful because it's like standing under a, like an actual waterfall. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's mainly on Keth's arm. Oh, no, my arms. Yeah. Holding him. <laughs> and you went through it as well. Yeah. Um, and you see... Um, inside is another walkway. So there's no hole. Oh, no, there's not. There's a hole, but there's another walkway on the other side of the water. It, so if, the water is like falling down this little like great, gap okay. between two walkways. How as I as I was going through as I, as I was going through and being pulled back mm-hmm. through, pulling myself back, do I see how wide this waterfall seems to be? Is it like a foot wide? Oh, not it? even. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like a veil of water. Oh. Mm. <sighs> um, it's uh, wet through that obviously but there's actually really? a walkway so look we could just do this and I'm just going to step through the yeah water. you do that oh he's got and just disappear De- Jeff. Keth you get a bit wet and then I'm going to put my hand back through and go come on you're going to attempt to grab Keth I'm just putting my hand back through just so, and ho- wiggling my fingers around so they can see that there's can I grab there. hold of his hand uh, probably yeah jump. I mean you'd have to it's quite high up <laughs> as soon as he grabs my hand I want to yank him through as quick as possible <laughs> <laughs> Break, put, move your hand down a little bit well, just just to about here. Yeah, th- yeah, that's not right. <laughs> Don't touch that. <laughs> just, <laughs> straight through. That's not a hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sea snake. <laughs> it's got one eye. Take my fingerless hand. <laughs> Don't look it in the eye. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> uh, is it water? Is it clean looking, or is it like murky, like the rest of the water? It's cleaner than care. Right. And that's all we can hope for right now. Okay. Mm. Keth's about to be very clean. <laughs> yeah. Keth is about uh, to improve his I'd overall just, cleanliness. I'd like to just do a very quick thing. In the is the is the is the floor stone? Um on this side of it, yes. On this side of it, yes. This uh I have a thing You don't called, know what's on the other side. That's fine. Um I have a thing called dwarven stone cunning. Uh-huh. which is whenever I make an intelligence brackets history check related to the origin of stonework, you're considered proficient in the history skill and add double your proficiency bonus to the check instead of your normal proficiency bonus. Okay. I'd like to make a history check or a, yeah, a history check about the stone around here and see like, was this built as a sewer? Is it part of a sewer? Is Was it built more as like a secret tunnel? Do you know what I mean? Is it its own Temple construction kind of or is it more representative of... The wider municipal sewer system. Um, I'm trying to sort of find information about who it was built by and for what purpose. So it's. I'll have to roll the check. For yeah, go honest. on. Just for map purposes. Uh, was it a straight on thing or is it all the way around? 22. 22? Yes. Um, yeah, with the 22, you can tell that this, the stonework here is very old. Mm-hmm. Um, not as old as the stonework. Des- not stone, not as old as the stonework architecture designs were in the prison you were just in. Okay, but certainly old. Yeah, yeah. Um, much older than anything you've seen up in the city above. Okay, and you can tell that from its construction, it was designed to be a part of the the city's um, sewer system. Okay, but. It's much larger than you would normally expect mm. of sewers. Okay. Interesting. All right. Yeah. Um, sorry, Milo, what was your question? Um, the thing that me and Jeff have gone into, yep. is that straight on Just through the wall. Side? I know, but is it the same for all the way around? Yes. Is the water covering? Is it just an, like an open thing that the water is covering, or is it just a passage? It's a walkway all the way around the inside of it. Okay. In another circle. Okay. Okay. But there's no like, obvious way out. There's like no. there's no exit because it's now surrounded in this yep. water. Is the, the and the walkway when we went through is there a hole then in the middle? Yes, there is. Okay. Keth, we going through? Yep. And I might <laughs> both pause. our hands come through now. You <laughs> first. I might pause for an extra second just under the water just to get <laughs> some of this shit off. <laughs> uh, yeah, I deserved. <laughs> you can do that. You can do that. Are you stepping through? Yeah, I'll also go through. Stepping through, brief shower. Brief clean, shower. Clean off the poo. Yeah. I like to think a waterfall deluge would knock off most poo. Well, it was painfully 
it was painful when it, I went through. So it was quite a powerful pressure. So was, yes, but Keth is powerful. But and the poo's or, not. No, and it just like sort of flicked on with shoes. Yeah. It wasn't smushed in. Yeah. Um, it was like pressure. Is the geography of what he's drawn? It hurt. Uh, maybe. Okay. I, I, I need to look again. Um, Clean of poo? Poo free? Yeah, you're poo free. Poo As you step inside, but wet. you see For you. around you a sort of wall of waterfall. It's oh. quite impressive. You're mm. sort of in a cylinder of waterfall. It's incredible. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's a walkway all around this. Um, Big hole there. There's no hand. There's no handrail because it's you know health Star and safety is not a thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's the Death Star. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But if you if they put a handrail there, you might be leaning. Yeah. That's, you know, it's not efficient. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Big hole uh, there, guys. But uh, you you look around and you're not sure. Seems like there's no way to go here. Anyone fancy going into a big hole? <laughs> where where is this big hole? Right, right in the center. There. <laughs> in the sorry, I'm just confused about his. So we basically I'm confused about his drawing. At the moment, walk around right, the but... middle. Yeah, so we come in, walk way all the way around through the waterfall, then another walkway, and then there's a big hole in the middle of the room. That's what I'm imagining. The red bit in the middle is the hole. No, so you you don't need that walkway through. Take off that bottom bit. That no. bit there. Uh-huh. So that's is where we the came passage in. in. Yeah. Then you've got the waterfall around the edge. Yeah. Then you go through the waterfall and you've got the wall. No, you've got it reversed. Around. No, so you basically come into okay. the room. Okay. Come into the room and there's the Right, this is what I thought I saw a second ago. Yeah, it's de- you've definitely so, got that backwards. This that's is how I was thinking about no, it. This, this, is backwards. Is, this is the walkway. We've gone through the waterfall and then there's another walkway yep. here. So that's this it. Is, this is just the walkway there. It's so like then, a donut. So then there's that's yeah, so basically what I've drawn. Yeah, it's basically what you've But there's no. No, you've done it right. No, there's you've no done it backwards. Through. Okay, so you've absolutely done that backwards. Yeah, yeah. Paul, that center, the thing that looks like a mushroom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not a floor. That's a hole. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The line, another walkway. Hole. Yep. yep. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah you've drawn it backwards, Paul. It's okay. We're all good. So, so we've come in where where you put walkway. That's where we've come in. No. Then there's a big ring, and then we've got. I think Paul in, in Paul's head he has got it. No, I think it's just an artistic. Thing. Okay, fair enough. So as far anyway. as all we know is that we are now in a cylinder, yep, basically, water. of water, and in With front of us is hole. a big old hole. Yep. <sighs> Jeff, have you still got that light? I have still got me brick. You want to drop? Rock. You want to drop it down? Wait. Oh, can we have a? You drop the door. You drop the stone. Yep. And it descends into the darkness. Corridors, the books destroy balanced shadows just to stay alive. Skeletons crumble under cats, fierce might, but danger lingers in the fading light. Derek's wit and Milo's spells intertwine. Jazz fire burns as they walk the line. A sinister trap attests the resolve. Will they escape or farther evolve? Can they escape the clutches of fate's dark Eurythmia? Well, I guess you'll find out next time on Roe Britannia. This podcast is part of the Sports Social Podcast Network.